like. Okay, so I'm gonna be cleaning instruments. Um, what we use is the Miltex instrument cleaner with lubricant added, so you don't have to actually use the lubricant spray, which I've probably put away because we don't use it. So it's um, one ounce to a gallon of water, and that's about 30 mLs. I don't know if my syringe will fit in here. There's not much left. So you put a little bit in a container with the instrument, and then you want to add a little bit of hot water, or to a gallon, a gallon of hot water and let the instrument soak for about five to 10 minutes. And then, it's actually warm. That's cute. <laughs> okay, so you'll let it soak for about five to 10 minutes. Um, once it's done soaking, you'll take it out, rinse it off, and then easily just scrub it to make sure there aren't any blood clots or anything like that left on it and let it sit out and dry and then once it is dry which we're going to kind of speed up the process here all right so once it's dry you use one of these little pouches autoclave pouches for a small instrument um, these are cool because they have a sterility strip that goes inside the pouch. And we'll close this up. Write the name of the instrument and the date today. These are Kurt Metzenbaum's. And today is the 21st. 21st. Okay. All right, so then operating the autoclave. Um, You'll put the instrument or the pack on the tray, which I'm actually going to do these two. These are just towels. Um, and then you want to make sure that you have enough water in here, so it needs to be in the green section. And you can only use distilled water. And once it's in the green, then you're good. <coughs> so you'll close and then you've got your options here, unwrap pouches, packs, hand pieces. So these are pouches. So you select your cycle, which is pouches. It'll tell you how much, you know, how long it'll take for the, uh, for the steam to get warm enough, how long for the sterilization. Um, so all, after you hit pouches, all you do is hit start and it'll do its thing. And that is it.